Yep, and here we go. We're going down the negative hole. Let's not do it. It's interesting. Oh my god. Nope. See ya. I'm out of here. Deploying forward station. That doesn't look like an outcast or collective camp. Let's check it out. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I like how these things don't give up. <sighs> well, they're just gonna keep chasing me. Disruptor, uh, incendiary, I guess. Yeah, the link has to come from the exploration of the planets. You can beat New Vegas in 20 minutes. Let's not judge games by their length. Well, that's speed running. That's different. What I was looking at is not speed running. That's just if you just did the main story at a normal, casual pace, not speed running. Oh god, I'm stuck. I like how these enemies just go for me. Ow. I could be dead. Get out of here. So much wildlife on these planets, it's insane. Ah! Oh, I could be dead there. Run, just run. I'm not ready to die, man, please stop. Run back here. God damn. I should switch to the shoddy, I guess. Shotgun's so much better. Not speed running. It's tops an hour then. Just run straight to the strip and begin the end game. Alright, he was talking. I don't know what he was saying. There's a cave, there's a memory trigger, there's counting bodies. Okay, and then there's the monolith, and that there's the path that we need to go to, to get that, so... Uh, we can do that. I wonder if this area connects. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is like a big old giant mountain. Okay. Search on Kadara. Right. Let's go ahead and save after that. And go this way. That thing. Back to the vortex. Wow, really? They have, like, collect some sort of, uh, ingredient for a new drink on every single planet? That's funny. 
There's two memory triggers right there. Counting bodies up that way. If we're that deep in, is it time to start thinking about the next game? I gotta be honest, when people generally ask me that, I have no idea. I, I try my best to not think about what's to come next. Because then what happens is I'm gonna end up looking forward to that rather than playing this. Hopefully there's a way down. So I I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Let's see if we can get up here. I mean, the, the way that I look at it is if people wanted me to stop playing this game. That sucks. Second of all, you you would rather have me play something else that might not be interesting? Because I'll tell you right now, if, if I stopped playing this, I would just play Stormblood. That's honestly the only game that I would be playing right now. So it's either a Mass Effect that is a little average, or an MMO that no one really cares for. That's the only response I have for, like, if I could play any game next, uh, that's what I would pick. Alright, I can't get that for some reason. There might be uh, another pathway over here. Let's go over there. Just wondering because we're deep in. Keep following the trail there. Get off that six-wheel drive. This for an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. However, for any long-term success, you'll need to find a solution to Kadara's water toxicity problems. This is Sloan's territory. Gotta make a deal with her first. What about the charlatan? The Collective's gaining power. We do not know the charlatan's identity. Sloane may be our only option. The doll could offer insight. Settling Kadara. Work with Raze. Okay, so that just opened up. Because I think viability... Uh, well... It says viability 12. You're supposed to have viability 40% in order to even... drop an outpost here. So that's kind of interesting to me. Uh, okay, and those two things are there too. Nice. Okay. Let's grab this memory and then uh, we'll check a body or something. Right. Another memory trigger? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Alright, bodies. There. I'm the person to plan everything out. If I was streaming, I'd like to know uh, the next two to three following games. Yeah. I kind of used to do that, but then I don't want to be that, that guy that says, Oh, we're going to play this game next. And then as time passes, I'm like, I don't really feel like playing that. and But I already promised that I'm supposed to do it. So I don't want to be that guy that says something and doesn't do it. But I kind of I kind of used to do that early on in uh, when I started out streaming. Another murder oh. victim. I have logged the relevant information. Assassin's Creed says headed to Cerberus headquarters now. Cerberus. Uh oh. I'm going there. Okay.
Um, I guess we start going this way. Let's collect this plant sample and then we'll grab the pet transponder. This right here. side dang it wait what's what the heck is that oh I think that's for um, for when we decide to make this an outpost or whatever, that they know that this is where they need to land. Got it. Pathfinder, my sensors read an Andromeda plant sample nearby. Where is it? This one? Yep. This flora. Grab it. Okay. So now we're going to go up there, which is where the pet transponder thing is, and also something else. People divided. Go to the crime scene. Uh. Rays believes the Rokar are the culprits. Oh, behind the murders? Okay. Well, we'll see if that's true or not. Look, it's easy. You just pull the hinge back and snap the upgrade straight Pop on the line. barrel. Does this is the murder secure. Mr. Vidal asked it's to secure. I promise. Back in my day, upgrades were handmade, custom fitted. None of this off the rack, snap together shit. Don't say uphill both ways. Don't say it. Turians didn't used to be so damn lippy either. <laughs> There's two different missions that are in these buildings here. Pathfinder, Ben Terev claimed he buried the Ket transponder near this location. Buried. All right, well, we're doing this one first. Yes, I'm at the crime scene. Great. I've got intel on our dead guy, Krogan Mail. Went by the name of Ziar. His frontal plate was pried off before he was shot to death. Uh, bad way to go. Poor bastard. Not one of mine. Do your scanning thing. Look for anything that might lead us to the killer. You mean use my Witcher sense? <sighs> These footprints are distinctly Angaran. I count at least three attackers. The tracks make it look like an ambush. Fits the Rokar profile. It's a start. Locker. Lot of locker's contents haven't been disturbed. What's this data pad say? Evacuation notice. With the recent reports of toxic water supply in the Badlands, the plans for large scale sediments have been cancelled. Instead, this area will be sealed off and converted to a penal colony. Anyone who fails to evacuate does so at their own risk. It will be considered a permanent resident of the territory and won't be allowed to come back. Sloan Kelly. Freaking Sloan Kelly, man. And Garn blood. Matches your Rokar theory, Reyes. DNA cannot identify political affiliations. Keep scanning. We need hard evidence. 
There's only one thing left to scan. It's a frying pan. It's... Hmm. Right when I'm about to do the mission, my game crashes. Oh no. New entry. More mines went missing. Damn scavs. Not gonna bother putting them out any anymore. It's just a stupid precaution anyway. If someone's got the quads to take me head on, I welcome the challenge. Personal log, Zier. Yeah, that died. What other sort of evidence is there? Wait, what is that? Oh. Here. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 did that quite a, a bit. And it did it like every single time I would fire up the game too, but it's more than likely because I had mods, or texture mods installed. That's why. A knife. Killer must have dropped it during the getaway. Something's carved into the blade. It's Shalash, the Angaran trade language. A home filled with strangers becomes a prison. Sounds pretty Rokar. This inscription, along with the DNA and footprints, supports the theory proposed by Mr. Vidal Pathfinder. Let's pay our local Rokar a visit. You know where they are? I wasn't sitting on my ass this whole time. I'm looking at the place right now. Send me the coordinates. These murders stop. Wait, how how far is this? Okay, that's actually deep. Um I'd be down to do that, because that mission sounds alright. Counting bodies, a package deal. Yeah. This pretty much looks like the end here. Like the end gets here, and then there's a little bit there, and then up here. Uh so yeah. Shouldn't be too much more left to do. Yeah. Da -da. <laughs> Bunk beds. What are you guys doing in here? Exo Jenny. Welcome to Car of This Point. Name's Malix. You looking for a place to hole up? Got some open beds. Food and clean water cost extra. Not a lot of privacy, let's say that. Take it you don't have any private rooms? I could put up a sheet. I'll pass. Suit yourself. Murdered Krogan? Maybe he knows something about it. Probably not, though. One of your neighbors was murdered. ZR's dead? Very. Know anything that could help me track his killer? No. ZR had a habit of shooting anyone who got close to his lawn. Still, grumpy bastard had his uses. People think twice about robbing you when there's a Krogan next door. Man, he's, uh, that's a nice trick. He's able to balance his data pad on his thumb there. That's fantastic. Uh, Charbatus Point. You get a lot of business out here? Our establishment might not look like much. But spend a few nights in the Badlands and we're practically hotel azure. Clean beds, warm grub, and the only place for miles with properly filtered water. Serious amenities on Kadara. Your story? How'd you end up on Kadara? Followed Sloan from the Nexus, but couldn't pay her protection fees. No fancy port for me. She forced you out? Those are the rules. Can't pay the fees, can't live on the mountain. First few months were tough. No water, no weapons to hunt. I really thought I was gonna die out here. 
But you survived. You obviously pulled through. I didn't travel 600 years to starve to death. I found other exiles. Put the strength in numbers theory to the test. Thus, Charybdis Point was born. I said Charbidus. Whoops. Remington says, Turian got some tricks. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I better get going. See you around. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. Move it! It's, it's Terminal's mine. Visitor log. Uh, people names, nobody we know. Oh, rules and regulation. These are the house rules. What you do in your bunk is your business, but keep the noise down. No stealing, no killing, no, or violence of any kind. Keep your bunk in the common areas. Keep your bunk in the common areas. Meals are kept on a strict schedule. If you're late, that's your problem. Five, we hold the right to kick your ass out at any time. Okay. What's with the name? I dated a human once who liked mythology. Malix. Ah, okay, so this place is a... There's a lot of, uh... Like... Mythological names in this universe. There we go. Uh... Assassin Queen says, oh, I stopped the Quarian Geth War, but lost Legion. Yeah, I feel like that's the best outcome. Because then, otherwise, if you, for some reason, you really enjoy the Geth and you would prefer them over Quarians, then you save Legion, but you lose all the Quarians, which kind of sucks. Remingtons. I mean, the first thing I thought of was keep the snoring down. Please. Please keep the snoring down. But okay. Pathfinder. Then to Rev, came to bury the cat transponder near this location. Whoa. What's going on, dude? Data pad. Uh, keep an eye on him. He's been complaining about you know what, and I don't want you know who finding out. Remind him of his oath, and if he regards. Well, one last mouth to feed, Alex. Hey, you guys got a private room in here. Where's my private room? Ah, there it is. He said he buried it? Uh, I'm sorry, but that's not burying a transponder. That's setting it on a rock and not burying it. GG. Found it. What's it say? That thing's busted. The transponder's power source is drained. So let's juice it up. Turn it on, then Gil can work his magic. Once complete, this should provide us with the Archon's location, and in turn, Meridian's. Oh, Meridians is probably the last planet. Uh, that's part of the story, maybe. We're making progress. We're one step closer to building a home in Helios. Oh yeah, the hard part's totally behind us. Speak to Gil and Tempest Engineering? Okay. Pathfinder, Reyes still needs your help investigating the murders in Kadara Port. This is where things are going to probably start triggering here. Where you've hit the point where now some of these quests or missions will be ready for you to uh, go to further. How the heck does one get up? Well, actually, no, I see. There was a there was a second pathway that we didn't go to, and that leads you all the way up here. Okay, that's fine. Um. You know what? I'm for this. Let's go take care of this thing right now. Um, the uh, the Reyes and the Rokar murder stuff. Seems legit.
Let's go to this forward station here. We're done in this area. Uh, and I need to go, or not go. I need to check my skills. We've got 16 skills. Okay. <sighs> what do we want to start using? Flamethrower, tactical cloak. Uh, employs light bending technology to render the user invisible at the cost of shield and health regeneration. Guns, powers, and melee attacks used from this cloak gain a damage bonus. Seems kind of cool. Energy drain, cryo beam. 16 skills, but aim ain't one of them. True. True that. Uh, assault turret. I could I could help my aim by just getting this assault turret. How come I've never seen that before? I think I would have remembered that. Let's get this uh, incinerate. Might be kind of fun. Incinerate. Uh, maybe another thing in energy drain. Seems good. Team support. Shield recovery, support, tactical revive, life support, health regen bonus. I don't know about that. Assassin Queen says, who else besides Edie should I take with me? Um... Cerberus base. I think we took we took Edie and Javik, but you don't have Javik. So hmm. I, I I once ran through it with Garrus and it was like interesting. Maybe take someone else. Uh Remember, it says I take Edie and my romance. So Edie and Liara, then. Do it, Edie and Liara. Seems seems like a good uh, good uh, combo there. Engineer profile rank two, rank three infiltrator. Biotics. Okay, we really need to. Check out the biotics here. Uh, plus forty percent Aegis health or recharge speed. I don't know about that. Lance. That actually looks cool. That looks very similar to throw. Charge, Nova, I don't care about those, I don't care about that. Annihilation? Oh, it's just like a damage, uh, like aura sort of thing. You know what, maybe we just work on... I think we're going to get Annihilation. Seems pretty cool. That. That. Um, now in combat... Oh, we did have Flat Cannon. I forgot about that. Let's get a thing in sniper. I think I want to take a sniper rifle out. I think we're going to use a sniper rifle now. Uh, I think so. Okay. Favorites. What is favorites? What does that mean? 
backspace. Oh, okay. So you can have favorites in terms of the profile and what um, three skills you want to use with it. That's interesting. That's actually pretty cool. But how does one... Is there a way for someone to change that quickly, like, in battle? Because if so, then that's going to make it so much simpler to, to be like, okay, we need to use an infiltrator to start out the battle, and then we'll swap to tech profile once the battle starts. Stuff like that. Is that an actual thing I can do? On foot. Weapon... Hip line conversation. Oh yeah, it's the F buttons. I might have to mess with that. Okay. That's done. Can I save it or no? Things to load here. Okay. I think I'm gonna take my weapons off. I wanna use a sniper rifle now. This might bite me in the end, but I really want to use a, uh, a sniper rifle now. I think it's time. Sniper rifles. Max clip size, not very good. The incisor. Pathfinder. Let's use this. The incisor. Incisor. Pretty interested in that. Clip size, stability, sniper weight, let's put that on. And is there any sort of like damage thing? I guess not. Spare ammo. Receiver. Let's put that on. Wait a minute, is it possible to put an assault rifle on too? Ah, uh, just barely over the thing there. So can't really. That's fine. Let's roll the sniper rifle. For the first time ever, 